Now, before we start looking at our RESTful user controller, we need to set the controller up. We also need our database dependency on our container so we can access that from our controller. And then we're gonna take a look at Postman. So let's go ahead and first of all, create this controller. We'll talk about Postman and we'll talk about how we are gonna be working with this. So the controller then is very simply going to be user controller. So we always give it a name similar to this. And we just go ahead and set this up as normal. And we know now that we just give this a namespace and we know that we have everything we need to get this going. So we just create our user controller class. We make sure that this extends the base controller because we need access to our container and we can start to define out our methods just in here. So we're not going to define out any methods just yet. We're going to leave that to the next part. But what I do want to do is add my database dependency to my container. Now you can use anything you want here, but since we're just kind of looking at the rest concepts, we're just going to be using PDO. Now for my database, I have a very simple table set up here. If we just take a look at the structure, you can see we have a name and an email. Both are varying characters, so varchars with a length of 255. For the purpose of this, we're just going to be storing these two, but of course, later on, feel free to create more advanced tables like forum posts, forum topics, uh, and this should uh, give you enough to be able to do that later when you need to. So let's go over and inside of our container, let's add a DB dependency. And because this is sim super simple, we're just gonna return a new PDO instance. And we're connecting to MySQL, of course you might be using something different. And we have a host of localhost. The database name for me is project. And let me just fix that colon up there. And then we just give our username and our password. So we now have this available inside of our user controller, ready to go. We can start to work with this. If you need to test this out, feel free to just create a root here and just access this DB and you'll be able to play around with it. So now we can talk about Postman. So what you're going to need to do is download this. I'll leave a link to this in the course link section. And once you have downloaded it, you can pretty much close your browser because we don't really need to use the browser to test this out. The whole point of Postman is so we can send different uh, HTTP verbs along with any requests we have. So we know that get is going to be used for getting a single user or a list of users. Creating is going to be posting and we're going to be posting through a JSON body, which will then create the user. We're going to use put or patch to update the user. And then of course, delete to delete the user. Most of these other HTTP verbs really don't come into RESTful controllers. So they are the only ones we're going to be using. Now, what we can also do within Postman is create collections. So I have one here for another series, which is uh, based on Laravel and creating a forum with this. But essentially we can create a new collection here called users to store each of our requests. Now we're gonna be saving these into here and this will just make it a lot easier to go through uh, and later on pick up what we need to do, test it maybe, and any of that stuff. So that is pretty much all you need. As long as you've got a, connection, a collection ready to start to store each of our requests, uh, you go ahead and enter the URI here. If it's a post request, you can go ahead and define a body out and we're gonna be defining these as raw. And of course you can change the highlighting here to JSON as well. We're going to be talking about this throughout though. So as long as you've got Postman up and running, make sure you create that collection so you can store all of your requests. And we can move on to the next part where we're gonna look at the user index and showing a user.